wait a second, we're not at the Capitol anymore. And I have different clothes on. And I got a haircut. Oh yeah, the session's over. That's why we're back at the community office. Well, come on into my office, let me tell you a little bit about what we got done this session, and then let me tell you a little about what's on tap for the summer. So, as you remember, we had a couple of big bills that we were working on towards the end of the session, and the good news is we got uh, a couple of those passed in very dramatic ways. Uh, so the first one is our personnel reform, which is a uh, historical transformation of the Colorado personnel system that does four, I think, really important things. The first is it establishes a merit pay system, so employees are actually getting compensation based on uh, how well they're doing. But it also fixes a real injustice in the pay for employees. We have so many state employees who have been stuck at the bottom of their range for a long period of time. And so now this puts a priority preference on making sure that those employees who have been stranded for so long now are the first ones to get their salaries increased. It does some historic things like eliminates the old practice of bumping rights uh, where senior employees could bump uh, younger employees. Also does really important things like changes what used to be a competitive test system, which is if you wanted to apply for a job at the state, you just took a test and the top three test takers were the ones who were finalists for that job. This allows us to get much more diverse candidate pools by allowing a comparative analysis, which is the way the rest of the world hires, which is look at all of the things that a candidate brings and see who the best candidate might be. Uh, and so that's a big part of what we did. In addition, uh, we did pass at the very end of session our early literacy bill, so now called the Colorado READ Act, which we'll, we've talked about before, but will help make sure that uh, every child who is identified as having a significant reading deficiency in kindergarten through third grade has a plan, has intervention, has uh, parental support and has the actual resources to support additional time, be it through summer school or after school tutoring um, or in class support. And so those are two wins we're really very proud of. Obviously some things that we didn't win that we're going to have to go back for next year that are, that are incomplete still. We were not able to pass asset to allow undocumented kids to get access to college. Uh, we were not able to pass some significant uh, reform to the voter rolls so we will have up to 300,000 voters in Colorado who won't get a ballot this year and won't know why. Uh, but we're going to go back on that for next year. But let me tell you about what we're doing now at the community office now that the summer has started. Uh, believe it or not, this is the time of the year where we're already working on putting together policy ideas for next year. So anytime you want to come by the community office, drop in with a good big idea. We're here at 33rd and Hudson. We also will have a meeting of our citizens cabinet, which is the group uh, that every year advises uh, me on policy ideas. So if you want to join our citizens cabinet in any policy area, our meeting is uh, June 25th at 5.30 p.m. Um, and we also then are going to have a big community barbecue, which will be July 22nd. So those are just a couple of big things to look out for. But if you need anything else or want to stop by, I'll be right here at the community office at 33rd and Hudson, and we'll keep you focused on all that's happening over the summer. Thanks so much, and safe travels.